Hello, my name is Lily Vet, and today we're going to do a yin yoga practice. For this practice, you're going to need a couple of blocks, some blankets, and a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use some cushions from a sofa or a couple of pillows from your bed. You can use also a few blankets and stack them up. This practice is going to be to benefit your central nervous system. So we're going to start in Sukhasana Rest Easy Pose. And what I'd like for you to do is to just let your shoulders relax. Let them melt away from your ears. Gently close your eyes. Let's jiggle the jaw to release any tension that you might be holding. And then let's take three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And now simply inhaling and exhaling through the nose, coming to a normal breath flow. Set an intention for this practice. Remember that your intention does not need to be anything complicated. It can be as easy as the word calm or the word breathe. It can be a mantra that you repeat to yourself, such as, I am grounded, or I am here to relax. Whatever it is, it's just something that will connect you to your practice, some purpose for you to be here on your mat that connects you to your breath and to your movement something that is full circle for you. And while you're here, you're practicing free from judgment, but always with compassion. Two more breath flows. Gently opening your eyes. We're going to come into Baddha Kanasana, soles of the feet together. You can either stack some blankets or you can take a block or two and put those on your feet. If you don't have a bolster, you can bring them like this and just bring your forehead down onto your head. Bring your palms up, arms forward, and just relax. Finding your breath, letting your body relax. If you have a bolster, you can bring your blocks to the outside of your knees if you like and then just bring the bolster to the front and allow your forehead to relax bringing your arms forward we're going to stay in this pose 
for just a few minutes. You may find that as you move along in your practice, you can even get rid of some of your props as your body goes ahead and it melts into the pose and your tissues release and you're able to get naturally deeper into the pose. If you are resisting the knees from coming down, just try and slowly allow the knees to go down a little further to the floor. One more minute in this pose. Try to tune into your out breath, your exhale is the one that's going to really dig into your rest and digest mode of your central nervous system. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale start to slowly walk your hands in, release your props and start to lift your body up. Start to bring your knees gently up, bring the soles of your feet onto your mat and then bring your hands behind you and lift your chest and your gaze up to the ceiling and windshield wiper your legs nice and gently from side to side
I'm going to loosen the spine just a little bit more and do some cat cows. So coming into tabletop position, moving your props out of the way, making sure that they're not in your way as you do these. Following breath to movement, wrists in line with the shoulders and hips in line with the knees, taking a deep inhale, tailbone up, belly down, and lift the crown of the head. And then on the exhale, arching the back, looking toward the back of your mat, tucking the chin under. Following your breath to your movement, which can be totally different than mine, and that's totally fine. couple more of these on your own. Taking an inhale in on the exhale, coming back to neutral. We're going to come into reclined butterfly or into supported bridge. So using your pillows or your bolster. You're going to bring that on your mat. You're going to lift your buttocks up so that they're supported by your pillows and you're going to come back So if you prefer to have your feet out and then just let your knees open out wide, you can do that. Or if you want to go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together for supported butterfly, you can do that as well. And then bring the palms of your hand out to the side. Palms are up feel that your spine is totally supported, shoulders are relaxed, take a deep breath and then just release into this pose. Three minutes. feel discomfort. We do push the boundaries by pushing the plastic muscles and really digging in deep. But if you are at a level where you're feeling discomfort, then the practice is not working for you. If you are feeling discomfort and you prefer to remove the bolster or the pillows and just come into plain reclined butterfly 
then please go ahead and do so. And taking a deep breath and then bringing your knees up and then in toward your chest. And allowing your knees to just relax here before we move into our next pose, which we won't be moving too much for. From this position, we'll be coming into waterfall. So we're just gonna take our legs and then lift them up. Allow your hands to come out to the side. Try and connect to your intention. And this really is a journey inward, a journey to stillness. Many times that journey into stillness is one of the few journeys we tend to take because we're on the move all the time and this can be one of the best journeys that we take this time for ourselves. Thirty more seconds in this pose. And taking a deep breath and then bringing your knees into your chest.
and then bring your legs down beside you. And then turn to one side and release the bolster from you and stay down on the mat. Now turn to whichever side you would like and then gently push yourself up to a seated position. Nice and gently. So we're going to come into a straddle pose. You can be seated on the blanket, you can um, remove the blanket, it's really a uh, personal preference. You can bring your legs open and either have a bolster in front of you or have blocks in front of you. So if you have the bolster in front, you can bring your arms down and bring your head down. That's option number one. If you choose to have the blocks, you can bring one block down or however many blocks that you need and stack them down and then just bring your arms in front and just let yourself release here. We will be here for three minutes. And let your feet relax. Normally in yoga, we tend to just flex the toes to have our legs active. But here you want to just let your feet relax. Don't worry about being in an active pose. It's all about letting everything just go. Like I said before, you may find that you may start with pillows stacked or blocks stacked on a bolster. And then you may find that you can let go of some of the blocks and then just have your bolster. Or you may start with a few blocks stacked and then start to let go of some of those blocks and then make your way down deeper as you're tissues start to release and ease into the pose. one minute remaining in this pose.
and taking a deep inhale and walking your hands in and slowly lifting yourself up and out of this pose. Start to bring your legs in. Start to shake your legs out. We're going to come into shoelace pose, Gamakasana. So you're going to stack one knee on top of the other. You can have a bolster beside you. You can have blocks beside you. You want to let's cross the right knee over the left. It's almost like a half cow face pose. Your bottom leg is completely straight. You can bring a block if you want to on top of the knee to bring that forehead down. You can also bring a bolster to put your head on if you'd like to offer you some options. Or you can just go ahead and come on down on top of the knee. We're going to be here for two minutes. Try to bring your attention to the breath and make sure that it's smooth and steady. Take a deep breath, walk your hands in, and then exhaling at the top. Let's go ahead and bring your leg in. Go ahead and lift the chest up, and then shake the legs out. And then let's take it to the opposite side Stacking that knee over the knee as best as you can. Remember that there is no such thing as a perfect pose. It's not always about the pose. It's about how you're feeling when you're doing this practice. Take a nice deep inhale, and then on the exhale, bring it forward. If you need your props, please go ahead and use those. And then tune into that breath 
especially that exhale. Try to relax your shoulders and relax your jaw and your face. Thirty more seconds in this pose. And then taking a nice deep inhale, walking your hands in. Bring your hands to the back. Uncross your leg and then shake it out. And then let's come into embryo pose for three minutes. I like to have a block when I do embryo pose. It's a variation of child's pose. Your knees are close together, your toes are together, your arms go to the back, your palms are up. I prefer to have a block for my forehead and just let your shoulders fall and release out. We will be here for three minutes.
You have one minute remaining in this pose. And taking a deep breath, bringing your hands forward. And then on the exhale, pushing your body up. Let's do a few cat cows to release the body a little bit here. So again, wrists in line with the shoulders and hips in line with the knees, perhaps getting some movement side to side here. And then tailbone up, belly down, crown of the head up, inhale, and then exhale, arching the back, looking toward the back of your mat. And then your breath to your movement. And last time here, and then coming into neutral and gathering either your pillows or your blocks. And we're gonna come into lizard pose. So bringing your blocks or your pillows forward, coming onto your knees and then bringing your right leg forward. Make sure that your knee and ankle are in line with one another so that you don't compromise your ankle and um, try not to let your knee go over your toes. If you need to bring your knee back a little bit, go ahead and do that so that you get a nice good stretch in your left hip flexor. And you're just going to go ahead and come down with the body and you can actually, if you have your pillows, you can come down onto your pillows if you'd like. We're going to be here for two minutes. you feel coming down onto the pillow or blocks is too much and you need to be on your hands, please stay on your hands and do what is going to benefit your body the most. We have one minute remaining in this pose. Taking a deep breath and starting to walk your hands up 
if you are on your elbows and start to shift your hips back coming back into both knees back and come into a tabletop position and start to get movement into those hips again to loosen that area up and then we're going to do the opposite side So perhaps shifting your blocks, your bolster, or your props, if you have any, onto the opposite side, lifting up, and then taking your left leg, bringing it forward, making sure that your ankle and knee are in line with one another. Maybe shifting your knee back if you need to go ahead and have additional room for your hip flexor. And then coming back. Two minutes in this pose. You have one minute remaining in this pose. Taking a deep inhale and if you are down on your elbows, pushing up to your hands nice and gently and then shifting your hips back. Coming onto your knees. You may want to place a blanket and have it nice and wide and coming into Balasana, child's pose. So toes together and knees as wide as you can get them. We're going to be here for three minutes in child's pose. So really stretch your arms out, bringing your forehead down onto the mat.
Really try and reach your chest down to the mat as much as possible. And then feel how your hips really stretch differently into this pose. You have one minute remaining in this pose. And taking a deep inhale and bringing your hands toward your knees and then on the exhale pushing yourself up nice and gently bringing your knees in and swinging them around so you may want to take your blanket and bring it up to the top of the mat if you like to cover yourself at the end of the practice you may just want to lie your head on it or bring it to the side that is your choice you can have either a block at the top of the mat or have your bolster at the side of the mat we're going to come onto our back nice and gently Bring your knees into your chest. Gentle hold on the knees and then gentle side to side here. Give your back a little bit of a massage. And then take your knees up to 90 degrees you can bring your arms to a letter T position. You're going to bring your knees all the way down to the right. So your option is to either place a block between your knees or you can place the bolster between your knees or you can have nothing there. So if you choose to bring the bolster between your knees it'll look like this and then you'll just be at 90 making sure that both of your shoulders are on the mat while you support the bolster between your knees or you can have the block or nothing and then just place your right hand on top of your knees if you don't have anything there. And then look to the left. And we're gonna be here for three minutes.
We have one more minute remaining in this pose. Taking a deep inhale, if you are looking toward the left, look up toward the ceiling. If you have your hand on top of your knee, go ahead and remove that. Come back to a letter T. Start to remove the props from between your knees, if you do have a prop. And then exhale and bring the knees one at a time to the center, all the way up to the top. Take a deep inhale, and then on the exhale, go ahead and bring the knees all the way down over to the left. And then if you need any props, please go ahead and place the props wherever you need them. Or just place your left hand on top of your knees and then go ahead and look over to the right. Remember to keep your face nice and relaxed. Jiggle your jaw if you need to release any tension. Breath and your intention. 
20 seconds here. Take a deep inhale. If you're looking to the right, go ahead and look back up to the ceiling. If your hand is on top of your knees, release it. Start to release your props. And then on your exhale, go ahead and take your knees one at a time back up to center. And then bring either opposite hand to opposite wrist or opposite hand to opposite elbow, hugging your knees. You can stay perfectly still or you can have a gentle side to side here. Release your grip and then start to walk your feet down the mat. If you'd like to go ahead and cover yourself with your blanket, you can go ahead and do that. And let's come into our final pose, Shavasana, corpse pose. Slowly shimmy your shoulders away from your ears. Let your feet just open out naturally. Palms are up, fingers are relaxed. If you feel like you are having back issues, you may want to go ahead and bring your feet as wide as your mat and just let your knees fall in together. This is a great pose for anybody that has back issues. Otherwise, just go ahead and let your legs come all the way down the mat. And let's take three cleansing breaths, just like we started our practice, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. any tension, just allowing your body to melt into the mat and to the floor beneath you that is providing you groundedness and support. Just feel as if it were a hot summer day and you are chocolate melting into the sidewalk. And allow your body to just Relax and release. As you lie here, become aware of any body sensations that you might be feeling. simply become aware of how you are feeling at this moment. Or perhaps in your nostrils. 
warming your nostrils as you inhale and then cooling as you exhale. And focus on the breath. Take a deep inhale, bring your arms overhead, full body stretch. And then on the exhale, bring your arms down beside you and let your body completely relax. In these next two or three breaths, either bring your knees into your chest or turn into fetal position. Whatever it is that you feel your body will benefit from the most before you come into a seated position. And when you're ready, come into a seated position. Let's inhale the arms all the way up. On the exhale, twist the wrists on the way down to release any tension that you might be holding on to. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center, thumbs to sternum. It has been my pleasure serving you. I hope that you feel rejuvenated and relaxed after this yin yoga practice. My name is Lily Vett and I hope that you join me for other practices and meditations at Flow for Balance. The teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in me honor, acknowledge, and accept. The teacher, the light, the love, and the imperfections in you. Namaste. Have an amazing day, and I hope that you go about your day spreading your light and your joy. Until next time. <laughs>